customer is looking to get a bid on um, having his uh, pillars right here on both sides of his um, of his uh, dormer uh, replaced with uh, stone. So right now there are shakes and wood on it, and uh, he wants to have it uh, have it taken off, and then um, to have uh, some stone. Uh, put in place of it uh, because it is supported by wood um, <clears throat> I told him that I would only do cultured stone for it so uh, we need to find a stone that's similar in color to Fond du Lac or Chilton and um, that's what we're going to use for the uh, the wall stone on it and then we're going to use a limestone cap so uh, customer is um, responsible for post or for uh, propping this up right here and removing the pillars um, but then uh, we're going to be uh, responsible for the rest of it here. Now one thing to notice is that underneath here it's hollow so we need to get some uh, like an angle iron, a small piece of angle iron to go across there. Um, we're going to be using one inch veneer on this so it's just something to help support it and to keep it in place. So once we take off this um, once we take off the shingles here and the wood uh, we'll have to put backer board on it um, and uh, uh, that'll be, and then um, lath it and uh, and put a brown coat on it. So we're doing it on this side and on this side over here. Um, then we have a little bit of space between the pillar and the house here, or the door frame right here. We're also doing that. There's a foot on each side. So um, we're at 31 inches wide, uh, left to right. We are at um, 38 inches deep from corner back to the house there. And then it is 32 inches tall altogether. So um, that's what we got going over here. So now uh, the second part of this is the uh, the bluestone. Uh, they've got a bluestone walkway over here in patio that uh, needs to be reset. So currently there's class five and sand underneath it. Um, we're going to uh, bid to replace that class five and sand uh, with three quarter inch clear. Um, and then also to reset their um, to reset their slab steps that they have in here. So um, this first part right in here, um, between uh, including the walkway, is 82 square feet. Um, the second area here is 100 square feet that goes up to this wall, and then from this wall right here uh, to the driveway is 133 square feet, and then from this point on is 80 square feet. Um, so, uh, we're also going to bid to put in um, two additional catch basins. Uh, one right here, because they've got lots of water that's coming down over here. And I can tell that, the, that they get water pooling in here because the bluestone is beginning to split something fierce right in this area here. Um, so, we're going to put a catch basin down from here. There is one right here. I have no idea where it dumps to. Um, but then uh, the, th the second one that we're installing is actually off of this side of the dormer over here, um, coming down the side. Um, right now they have a catch basin that's coming across, or a downspout that's coming over and across. Um, and then uh, they get all the water coming down here. So we're going to put a catch basin in here and run it underneath this area and exit it on the far side. So um, I would say that about 75%... You know, uh, yeah, 75%, I would say, of their bluestone is reusable. Um, for the most part, it's in decent shape. Um, I told them that we would give them some um, credit for it, uh, but there is a labor that have, have taken it out. So, um, let's see. They currently have super tight joints. Um, I told them we would not lay it that tight. Um, and with because we're as close to the water table as we are, I assume that they get lots of freeze thaw, and they're going to have the same problem as Kowalski with the uh, the. Sh I mean, there that's some of the we do have some breaks in some of these these pieces. I assume from that. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, so, um, for Nick, we are on a dead end here. Uh, they are the last house, so uh, we actually should be golden. Um, can drop a, um, a dumpster on this side and crushed rock over here. Um, this is uh, ideal for something like this. Um, now keep in mind that this is probably not a, uh, um, I guess I don't know. Um, in my head we do this manually, but if we're taking everything up, I guess it's not the end of the world to do it with a skid um, since we've got to dig it out anyway. 
So let's go ahead and do this with a skid, um, because, like I said, we're gonna have to take it. We're gonna have to take the pieces out manually. But um, there's no reason it's not too thin anywhere that we can't get through. The only real close place is right over here. Um, and this is just a stone that's been the way and it's just sitting in here loose so we can remove this. Um, but there is a, ooh, there's a paver drive over here that we would need to get to. So mm, as long as we've got no cars here, I think if we use the ASV, we should be able to come across this uh, pretty nice and easy. So uh, this right here, this circle thing is part of the, uh, not, like the septic field or something like that. So that has to stay put.